Welcome to our farm, a little bit of our everyday in a not so everyday life. A big debate for the morning to start our Friday is sideboards on or off on the new tray for the ute. And of course, and of course he lost. I did tell him not to ask me if he'd already made his mind up, but I'm a sideboards on person, I think. Anyway, what plan are we up to already? And we haven't even started the day. Uh, B, B, we're up to B. We were going to do some jobs, but then the water at the house ran out, I'm presuming, is that right? For the, For the toilet and the feed lot. Yep. So we have to go and get fuel to get the pump going, to get water in the tank. Oh. What do you reckon, Shems? We're going to leave you again. Morning. Well, we've been got the fuel, the water is going, and Phil's just gone to check the lambs in the feed lot, and he's just asked me to come down the paddock while he's doing that to check these feeders. So I'll do that. We filled them up um, as you saw on the last clip about a week ago, so we'll see how they're going. Right, oh, here we are. Hey, sheepies. There was, they were definitely eating at them when I've come down. They've just run away clearly because I'm here. Let's just check. These feeders are awesome because they've got windows. So you can see that one's just below that window. And thankfully, I might just run a stick along that one. It's just got a bit blocked there because the rain has stopped. It's flowing freely. This one's a little bit more empty, but it is down to there. It's above that window. And this one's still got a full second window, so I'll let him know. I might open one and have a look. Just got to take the pin out. They're very heavy lids. <laughs> oh no, plenty, plenty. Now I'm going to push that back on. So just to explain what we're doing up here, these lovely tipples, is this is our boundary fence, and that's our boundary fence. Um, 
you know, probably can't make it out but between those behind those trees. Yep. So what happens with boundary fences is that you usually go half. So half is our responsibility and half is the neighbour's responsibility. Um, and it needs replacing. Like this is the better part <laughs> up over that hill there. We might go and show a bad part too. I, I don't know how Tim. sheep have stayed in there. Yeah. But anyway, um, so we've what we've got to do is that well, I've supplied all the gear and the neighbour. One, and we're dropping off some more, which you saw us load. Yeah, and the neighbour, uh, son, um, and he's got a shearing team and some of his workers, they're going to put the the fence up yeah. so so that's our half and half isn't it we've supplied the gear, supplied the gear they're going to do the work because they've the got labor. the time to do the labor and the men and the men and we don't have that but it's been a long time since stuff. anyone's had a chance basically just because life happens and yeah. life happens really fast when it comes to droughts you know we all were in a six-year drought here floods um but it's got and, to the point where you're losing yeah. more sheep like he's sheep are coming in here yeah and sheep are going in there and it just makes bad, it makes a bad situation. It's yeah, just, and everybody's beyond. chasing each other's sheep all the time, aren't yeah. they? And ringing up and saying, look, your sheep are in. And um, we want, yeah, it just makes and, management and easier. fully utilised this paddock yeah. for a few years now because the fence has been so bad. So you had to be, it was like the last resort to put sheep up here. Yeah, so it's going to help everybody doing it. And we're really glad that it's finally getting done. So that's going to be part of our real... Um, structure this year isn't it for the rest of the year until harvest anyway is to really concentrate on some fencing so anyway we'll unload and go up the hill a bit so that was that's the same existing boundary. That's the part that he supplied the gear and we we did. A couple of years, a few years ago. A few years ago now. But anyway, this is um, basically, I'd imagine this fence was oh, over 100 years old. Maybe should have been there. And all the wooden posts are basically. Yeah. And that's Cactus. all the way up. And yeah. How it's done. Well, see, we've been patching it, putting steel posts and trying to hold it up, but it gets to the point where it's. Just needs doing properly. Unpatchable. Yeah. So it'll come from there. At that corner. Yep. Straight up and over. Not sure how they're going to get through those rocks, but anyway. I'll figure it out. That's not my problem. Okay, we supplied the gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, that's that job done for the day. We do have a good view. So, we've just picked up some straw um, that needs to go in with the lambs, and that's just their roughage. Um, helps them to digest and the what the job then of the pellets is is kinder on their gut so yeah they're out of straw and uh, time to deliver some Straight away they come running, they love it. It's good roughage. Loving it. Like bees to honey. Oh yes.
So this is a pressure unit that um, comes directly off that concrete tank over there, which is the water for our house yard, as well as for the containment lot for the lambs, which means they're drinking, which means we have to fill it up on a more regular basis, which means Phil gets to play in water probably a little bit more than what you'd like. Oh, you got your fit and your burr out. <laughs> I'm faithful one. Now, sometimes farm husbands do jobs for farm wives. And mine is doing a great job. Let's have a look here. We've removed our garden, our veggie garden, and um, kind of got some bark chip from the electricity guys who do the trees and whatnot. And we're dumping it around the garden just to make it nice and easy. So tractor's better than a shovel any day of the week. finger in the way. Morning, another new day here today and we are about to head to the sheep yards to weigh lambs um, and make some decisions about whether we're taking some to the market this week and we're also getting some lambs prepared to um, for some private buyers of ours that we're very excited to um, get their home lamb organized for them. This is, I'll try and get some footage today, this is our Automated hand Hey. Yeah, so we might adjust weights depending on what's coming through because after. At the end of the day, it's at the end of the month, and there's a lot of bills to pay. Yeah, basically. If you didn't hear that, it is getting closer to the end of the month, and we need to pay some bills, and this is our income. So, um, unfortunately, there might not be. But, you know, it might not be uh, ideal or what we want, but it is what it is and we've got to make some decisions. So basically what we'll do is we'll bring the sheep up around here. They're going to come into here and down the funnel and into the race where I will be moving them forward around here. They'll stand on the handle, the handle will clamp them and weigh them and the gates will open accordingly. So we'll, hopefully I can set up the camera and show you a little bit about what we do.
we have finished weighing and sorting our lambs. We've got a mob to sell and a mob to put back to keep fattening up <coughs> and some that we're going to send to butcher for some clients and for ourselves. So I'm just waiting here on the road. I'm going to just be a backstop for if they decide to turn the other way because just there is their normal gate for the feedlot. So, and as you can see, they immediately turn this way. So we do have the dog with him, but I'm just an extra sort of preventive. So I'll go up and just sort of encourage them to turn their heads up the hill. Back to the feedlot. They'll fill their tummies for a few more days. Reckon we're done for the day? Or are you waiting on Phil to come home? Yeah. Done? Good girl. <laughs> well, the night is just about here. We've had a big day and we thought that um, it's probably going to wrap it up for this video. Phil's headed in to get the fire going. Em's putting the dogs away. So, yeah. Pretty productive day. We weighed all the lambs, got them all sorted and ready to go make some plans for sales and and get the others ready for sale so thanks for watching like and subscribe um, thanks to those who've already done that see ya